going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. So there are a lot of Android apps out there for Twitter. And there's even a lot of really good free Twitter apps. So you may be wondering, um, what's the best one according to my needs or wants? Um, which one should I choose? Well, I'm going to go down um, the list of basically the top apps. There's a lot of them, so I'm not going to talk about every single one, but just the top apps, the pros and the cons, um, which ones I think you know would best suit the general audience, but you can pick based on these. So let's go check them out. So because um, different people want different things, different features in their Twitter apps, I've broken it down into three basic categories. So the top top ones are Twicka and Tweets Ride, which was formerly known as Twitter Ride. Um, they're both very similar as far as functionality and, and even the way they look. I happen to prefer tweets, tweets Ride, so I'll show you a little bit about that. Um, you can see you've got your tweets, shows the pictures, screen name. Down here you have options for home, at replies, direct messages, lists, and if you want to add a new tweet. And then if you want to select a link in a tweet, all you have to do is select it. It goes to this page and you can reply to the tweet send a direct message, retweet, retreat with comment, which is a nice feature. And then if you want to select the link, you just select it. Um, it also shows you notifications if you have new tweets that you haven't read yet, or if you have new at replies that you haven't read yet. Another nice thing about Tweets Ride is that it's easy to upload pictures. If you're updating um, or putting in a new tweet, you can see you have options here for um, adding a picture, shrinking URL, or uh, geotagging. For that, I'd say um, Twitter and Tweetcaster are one of the best, um, the top rated applications for that category. Twitter, uh, the first time I used it, I was really kind of blown, awa blown away by how cool and different it is. Uh, for example, whenever you select a tweet, it pulls up a menu below that tweet with all of your options, which is, I mean, different, but I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense, and it's, and it's really cool, and then if you want it to go away, you just select the tweet again, and it's gone. Um, those features that come up are really nice to reply, you can click on any links in the tweet, retweet it, send them a message, and then there's more too. So um, that's really cool. It also has sort of a, a 3D effect because of this gradient, kind of looks three-dimensional. You can turn the gradient off, but you know, it looks kind of cool. And then down here, the menu bar is purple, which, you know, I like purple, so that's one feature that I like. And then... Um, it's got the option to see tweets, your at replies, direct messages, search, refresh. Again, I love having the refresh button on the home screen. Um, when you go to tweets, you can either uh, do a new tweet, see your list, trends, or favorites. And then there's this little bar down here, so you can pull that down. And that's where you can also type a new tweet. Again, it's easy to attach a picture, shrink, um, a URL and then the option to send. If you want it to go away, just slide it back up. This app also has a lot of um, features that are customizable. You can, like I said, you can take off the gradient if you don't like it. You can also change the font size, um, different colors on here you can change. So it's really customizable. That's a feature that a lot of people like. And this app also supports multiple accounts. The top rated are Twidroid and Seismic. I personally prefer Twidroid, so we'll go over that one first. Um, you can see it's really simple, but it still has color to it. It still has a nice design, and I like the I like the color. I like the light blue. I like also how it has um, your menu options. It's everything that you would need: home, typing a new tweet, seeing your at replies, direct messages, search, and refresh. Again, is on the home screen. Um, if you want to go to a link or see any you know info that's within a tweet you can select it and it brings up a menu um, with all the options that you would need um, uploading a picture is really simple you click the paper clip and you can insert a photo um, insert video or you can take one with your camera just right then now on to seismic you can see again you know it has all the features that you would need but it still looks cool it's got color to it has some gradient um, to the tw each tweet as well. Refresh but button right on top. You can see your timeline, at replies, messages, and then your profile. If you select a tweet, it takes you to a new page where you can um, select the link or do a reply, retweet, or send them a direct message. 
So there it is, guys. There's tons of Twitter apps on Android. Um, some of them are great. Some of them are not so great. Some of them are like, really, you designed that? But it's there. These are your options. Um, check out all the other, other videos on PhoneDog.com, and I'll see you guys later. You guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>